Did you know that some gas-powered lawnmowers can emit as much pollution in an hour as a 2016 Toyota Camry driven for 300 miles? It's precisely why places like California are changing the game by banning the sale of gas-powered lawn equipment starting in 2024. So apart from environmental impact, how do these new electric lawnmowers stack up against traditional gas-powered lawnmowers? Stick around as we compare gas-powered and electric lawnmowers and see what $600 can get you in today's market. Let's jump right in. First off, let's meet our competitors. On a trip to the local hardware store, we found two self-propelled mowers, a gas-powered Honda and an electric Ryobi, both retailing around $600. Both brands are leaders in the lawn care game, but how do they stack up? Here's the tale of the tape. The selected gas lawn mower weighs in at 79 pounds on an empty tank and the chosen electric mower at 74 pounds. Both machines have a 21-inch reach. The footprints between the mowers are almost neck and neck. But the electric mower offers a slight edge with its ability to be stored vertically without fuel drainage worries. When it comes to cutting your lawn, both mowers offer flexibility with three cutting options and seven height settings. This gas-powered mower can cut grass as short as one inch, but otherwise no big differences yet. But the real question is, can the electric mowers keep up with the power of gas models? Let's take a look at horsepower, noise levels, and the all-important runtime to see which mower not only cuts the grass, but does so efficiently and comfortably. This gas lawn mower is equipped with an engine that produces almost a half-horsepower net power output. Known for their power, gas mowers excel in tackling large, thick lawns with ease. They offer the strength needed to cut through tough grass without bogging down, making them ideal for expansive or rugged terrains. However, this power comes with noise. This electric lawnmower model has a power output equivalent to around a third horsepower per hour. The product manual for this electric model indicates a charge time of one hour. Depending on how much lawn needs mowed, this may require a charge before every use. Electric models, both corded and battery operated, provide a quieter option. Gas lawn mowers typically generate about 90 to 106 decibels of noise, while electric lawn mowers usually produce around 75 to 85 decibels. Gas lawn mower noise is comparable to being at a busy city traffic intersection. It's loud enough that sustained exposure could potentially harm your hearing, emphasizing the importance of wearing ear protection while using gas powered lawn equipment. The noise from an electric lawn mower is akin to the volume of a standard washing machine. It's significantly quieter than its gas counterpart, making it more comfortable for both the user and those nearby. Another critical difference would be runtime. For the electric mower, you can cover about three-fourths of an acre with up to 70 minutes of runtime from a single charge on a new and fully charged battery. The selected model ships with two batteries which combined is enough for most small jobs. No one loves maintenance, but it's a necessary evil for keeping your equipment in top shape. Maintenance could be a deal breaker for some. With a gas powered lawnmower, prepare for regular maintenance, including oil changes, spark plug replacement, and fuel system cleaning. The product manual for this gas model recommends an oil change after the first month or five hours of use. Thereafter, oil changes every six months or 50 hours of use. The manual suggests replacing the spark plug every two years or after 150 hours of use. The manual also recommends cleaning the air filter after the first 25 hours of use. Thereafter, cleaning the filter every six months or 50 hours of use. Electric mowers boast lower maintenance requirements with no need for oil changes, spark plugs, or dealing with gasoline. This electric model offers the convenience of cordless operation, eliminating the hassle of managing a power cord. However, battery life and replacement can be a consideration in terms of cost and convenience. The everyday lithium ion battery should last between 300 and 500 charge cycles, or possibly three to five years depending on how often you mow and if the battery is properly stored. The replacement battery for this specific model costs $219, which could become a significant recurring cost. Though the gas mower requires more maintenance, maintaining the electric mower may cost more over a longer period of time if you factor in replacing batteries. Do you own an electric model? Let us know how your battery is holding up over time in the comments below. In today's world, every little bit helps when it comes to being environmentally friendly. When examining the environmental impact of both gas and electric mowers, it is important to consider both emissions and battery disposal. The gas lawn mowers emit carbon dioxide, contributing to air pollution. 
The environmental footprint includes not just emissions during use, but also the gasoline production process. Electric lawnmowers do shine in this category, offering a cleaner alternative. With no emissions during operation, they're better for the air and generally consume less energy. Battery disposal is an environmental consideration, though recycling programs are becoming more prevalent. So which mower is the right choice for you? The choice between electric and gas lawn mowers hinges on your specific needs and values. If power and performance for large, tough lawns are paramount, a gas mower might be your best bet. However, if you prioritize environmental considerations, noise levels, and convenience, an electric mower could be a perfect fit. With technology continuously evolving, electric mowers are closing the gap in performance while offering benefits that gas mowers can't match. Consider your lawn size, your commitment to maintenance, and your environmental priorities when making your choice. Thanks for watching. If you found this comparison helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insightful content. Have experiences or questions about gas or electric mowers? Drop a comment below. We'd love to hear your thoughts.